Now the first lady of Nigeria, Senator Uluwe Tinubu, has raised an alarm that Nigerian children are at risk of losing their identity if necessary steps aren't taken to make amends. The first lady was speaking at an event tagged celebrating the mothers of our nation, organized as part of activities to mark President Bola Tinubu's one year in office. The event was put together to recognize the women who have made significant contributions in their various spheres of life, communities, and in the nation at large. Senator Oluremi Tinubu emphasized the importance of women as the foundation of home and society, stressing the need to continue nurturing children and instilling good morals while preserving cultural and traditional values. She expressed concern that without intervention, the current state of society could lead to children losing their identity. What I say, I say with the utmost respect to Nigeria, to the people of Nigeria, and to the First Lady of Nigeria. Today I want to address some of the comments that was made by the First Lady regarding the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. These remarks were made during a speech to a group called Mothers of the Nation. And it's clear that Meghan's name was mentioned with a certain agenda. I believe it is important to set the record straight and highlight the positive impact Meghan and Harry have had during their recent visit to Nigeria. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's recently completed a successful three-day visit to Nigeria at the invitation of the Chief of Defense. Their visit focused on promoting the Invictus Games, supporting injured soldiers, and addressing mental health issues. Moreover, Megan hosted a session for women entrepreneur, providing invaluable support and inspiration. Through their Archwell Foundation, they are helping schoolgirls in Nigeria by providing essential materials, including sanitary pads to ensure they can attend school. These contributions are significant and demonstrate their commitment to making a positive impact on the lives of Nigerian women and girls. Megan discovered that she is 43% Nigerian through a DNA-based test, a revelation she shared with excitement and pride. During her visit, she praised Nigerian women. She said this, It is a compliment to you because what they defined as a Nigerian woman is brave, resilient, courageous, beautiful. This statement underscores her respect and admiration for Nigerian culture and its people. It is understandable that there are concerns about preserving Nigeria's culture and values. However, it is important to recognize that cultural evolution and global influences are part of a dynamic nature of any society. Nigerian culture is rich and beautiful, and embracing modern influences does not mean losing one's identity. Instead, it is about finding a balance where we can uphold our traditions while also being open to positive global influences that empower our people, especially women and girls. The First Lady's remark seemed to misrepresent Megan's presence and influence in Nigeria. Megan has been a stout advocate for women's rights in education and her visit aimed to support those causes. 
No one criticized Megan Clothing during her visit. Instead, she was met with dignity, respect, and appreciation. The comments about Nigerian youth imitating Western celebrities and neglecting their cultural heritage are worth discussing. But using Megan as a scapegoat is not the solution. While it's important to guide our youth and instill confidence in their heritage, we should also celebrate role models who make tangible, positive impacts. Meghan Markle is a prime example of someone using her platform for the greater good. Her efforts in Nigeria focused on empowerment, on education, and support for mental health issues, which are values we should all champion and support. Instead of using Meghan Markle as a scapegoat for broader cultural issues, let's engage in constructive dialogue by collaborating with those who come to support and empower one can enhance the well-being of many communities. Megan's visit should be seen as an opportunity to highlight the strength and resilience of Nigerian women and girls and to foster partnerships that uplift society. While maintaining and cherishing one's culture one's values. It's all very important. We must also recognize and celebrate the efforts of those who come to support and empower. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's visit to Nigeria brought attention to crucial issues and provided the resources necessary and partnerships and connections that they may have. Let us focus on those positive impacts and continue to work towards a future where our youth are confident, empowered, and proud of their heritage. There's no need to scapegoat. Thank you very much. With much respect.